today on Destination Polaris. We head to Texas for a quail and chucker hunt. Load up the side-by-sides and shotguns, because this is gonna be a blast. Destination Polaris starts right now. Destination Polaris is presented by Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. Welcome to Destination Polaris. We are in Texas Hill Country, where for the next couple of days, we're gonna run and gun on a quail hunt. We've got two hunts scheduled on our trip. Both take place near Austin, Texas. First one begins just south of the capital city. Wimberley, Texas is located just an hour south of Austin, but once you arrive, you feel a world away. We are at the beginning of the hill country, situated 45 minutes from Austin, Texas, and about an hour and 15 from San Antonio, Texas. Josh Floor Crumpton is the owner of Spoke Hollow Outfitters, a diverse hunting property. We are a thousand acres of land. If you flatten it out, it's probably like 16 or 1700 acres. We have quite a bit of topography. And there's a lot of variation. There's a lot of microclimates here. We're here for a chucker and quail hunt, but this place offers so much more. Spoke Owl Outfitters offers a few different types of trips. We offer fly fishing, half day, full day, and we offer upland hunting. We also do a limited amount of whitetail hunting on the ranch. We like to think of this ranch as a campus for the outdoors. Josh used to get around his campus in a truck or by foot, but not any longer. We use our Polarises every day. We use them to build fence. We use them to carry tools to the job site whenever we're cutting trees. We use them to give tours to where we explain conservation. We use them to get out into the field to hunt. They're part of our everyday life. This oak tree right here? Yes. I wanna see if we can drop all of these real quick while I'm here. Make some trees fall. Today, Josh and his crew cut down trees to improve habitat and conservation. What I might start thinking about, bring them a little further and split them up and staging them just so they're ready to burn. Our primary mode right now is cedar mitigation. It's an interesting thing, the conservation components that happen on this ranch. We support conservation, but we're also here for another reason. Before we head out for the hunt, Josh takes us to the top of his property for a quick round of sporting clays. I'm lucky enough to have my dad, Jim, along for the day. Who wants to be first up on clays? Age before beauty. Dad, you first. Well, uh, about uh, 
missed about the first 10 that went out there. And then started getting them. There you go. Yeehaw. After a few misses, Dad locks in his shooting eye. Now, it's my turn. Go. That's it. <laughs> All done. Go. Yeah, I think you're good. Piece of cake. You got four in a row right out of the chute. Four for four. So we did okay with the sporting clays, but how will we do with the hunt? That's up next. You're watching Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. Rockford Fosgate, purpose-built audio. Full throttle battery, the one that works. And by Super ATV, the leader in aftermarket parts and accessories. Welcome back to Destination Players. We are now locked and loaded and ready for the hunt. Let's head in the field. Before any hunt, it's always important to have a quick safety meeting. Safety meeting on tacos. So listen, here's the thing. You only open them from the left. Don't point your taco at anyone unless you plan on them biting it. Yeah. Oh, safety first. Tacos first. Heck, you can't hunt on an empty stomach. Everybody ready to roll? When I, when I say go, these guys are gonna go. So the way we're gonna run things today is we're using pointers and a flushing dog. Pointers will get on point. I'll give you guys direction on where to stand, where the shot windows are. Right in there, hunt it up. Joining my dad and I today are a bunch of guys from Quail Forever. I actually met Josh at one of our chapter fundraisers for the Central Texas chapter about three years ago, and he is currently the acting president for that chapter now. And the other two will come up He's here. got the right energy. He, he's got a passion for, for a, a huge part of our mission. Harvey, hunt him up. Jared, let's put you right here. Your dad's moving to the right. We'll flush this first set of birds. Dad and I, up first. We're gonna swing around this side. We're gonna try to push this bird that direction. Everybody has their shooting windows. Go ahead, rack your guns. RB, hunt them up. Nice. Hey. What's up, Dad? Good girl, all the way. Good girl. This is the first one. First one. There's just nothing quite like the sound of a cubby flushing. Well done, Dad. Let's see if I can keep up. Whoop. A lot of birds in here. RB, hunt them up. How long has it been since the last time you guys hunted together? We've never hunted together. Oh, wow. This is the first time. We're exactly the hunters Josh loves to see. Those who take up the sport later in life. Yeah, we definitely focus on the adult onset hunter here. I personally didn't start hunting until my 30s, and I had some serious bias towards hunting. And I kind of taught myself everything. I was fortunate because I had a place like Spoke Hollow where I could learn to do that. So we built our outfitter and our entire program based around getting people out and giving them that gateway into the outdoors that I personally didn't have.
Where are we headed? Though? Josh took our experience one step further. He puts us on birds and then serves dinner. So here at Spoke Hollow, we always try to end our hunts with a nice meal. So this is quail and dumplings, and that's kind of one of our specialties. What a way to end the day. Next time, we're bringing the whole family. This is terrific. It's absolutely terrific. I'd like to, to do it again with some grandsons. Get some of those boys out here, let them get a taste of this. I think I know just the two boys who would like to join us next time. So pretty cool father and son hunt, but you're getting left behind now as I'm heading north of Austin for another hunt. Stick around, you're watching Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Walton's, everything but the meat. Aluma Trailers, Aluma Adventure, take fun anywhere. Razorback Off-Road, hardcore products for your side-by-side. -side. And by Shock Therapy, the premier UTV suspension tuning company. Welcome back to Destination Polaris. We kick things off with a chucker hunt south of Austin. Now, we've moved north of the capital in search of quail. Premier wing shooting is a, an upland bird hunting operation. John Hubble is one of the owners of Premier Wing Shooting. So we are just north of Austin by about an hour and a half. This will be the northern hill country, northern part of central Texas. We have 95% native grasses, very much reminiscent of what you'd find in Kansas, which is why we find it to be special for here. Those grasses are home to Bob White quail. So that's kind of the king bird of the south. So we, we try to stick with that tradition. Before we head out for the hunt, John gives us a tour of the property. The Polaris crew is one of our main staples. Polaris comes in handy. If we go to hunt the north pasture, it's a 30 minute ride. You can see they're definitely a need out here, not, not, not so much of a want. We've got dog boxes on the back of them. So we throw all the dogs in, we usually have four dogs. Up to six guys running through there, so it gets us in and out of the field just fine. The one I use the most still is our oldest. I think it's a 2010, still going strong, so no problems with that thing at all. So John, you call this area Little Hawaii? John takes me to one of his favorite spots. Ah, uh, something like that. We call it waterfall for, for that reason. Not the largest waterfall I've ever seen, but uh, <laughs> it is, I guess, a waterfall, right? It, it is, it is. And you know, when the water's running a little bit more, it's, it's, it's better. We haven't had much rain since September. The lack of rain shouldn't affect our hunt, as I know we've got plenty of birds. We've got the guys from Quail Forever joining us again today. And for most of them, it's their first time here at Premier. Beautiful property. 
it's fairly conveniently located, you know, from some of the metropolitan areas, so that makes it very nice. Whenever you're chasing birds, it's not anywhere close to, to where it, most people live. But absolutely gorgeous place. While the team gears up, I get the plan from our guide, Marissa. So we're hunting quail today. We are. What can we expect? We can expect to have some good flushes by a little cocker weller over there. We're gonna have some solid points with Pappy. And we're gonna get y'all on some birds and we're gonna have a great day. This is one of the most genuine, authentic experiences you can have on a shooting preserve. You excited? I'm pumped, I'm ready for this. All right, let's load up and head out. Stick around, because when we come back, the birds start flying. You're watching Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by RZ Mask. Get 99.9% .9 filtration from dust and dirt. Flow fast. Riders need to flow fast. Polaris Adventures. Adventure everywhere. And by Switch Pros, programmable switch panel power systems. Welcome back to DP. We're in Texas ready to start our quail hunt at Premier Wing Shooting. We are in Lamita, Texas, and we are on 3,000 acres of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hill country. Today we are going to take a drive through our property. We're gonna get y'all on some Bob White quail. We're gonna have a good day, and we're in good company. There's a ton of birds out there. Great quail habitat. Like a ton of birds. Obviously be mindful of the dogs. We will have a flusher, his name's Weller. I promise you he will get the birds off the ground or he'll get it himself. All right, let's get rocking. Cool. This is my favorite spot, absolutely. It's what we call the bowl, and that's because it dips down and there's a nice little ridge where you get a beautiful view of Lamita, Texas. Pappy's on point. Look at that good boy. Go around to the left of Pappy. You guys come around to the right. Shooters ready? Nice shot. Good boy, you're a good boy. He's getting real birdie and staying real birdie. Man, that's a good looking bird dog. Whoa. Good shot. Good boy. Nothing's prettier seeing a good bird dog work. Good birds. Come here, Weller. Such a good boy. Oh. Chris from Quail Forever seems to be enjoying himself. It's been great. It's been fantastic. Really nice cover. Beautiful. Uh, landscape as you look across onto the hillsides. Pretty phenomenal crew. Chris's team worked directly with landowners to help with conservation. Our field staff works one-on-one -on -one with landowners to get the prescription for the right habitat on the ground to keep growing not only quail populations but increasing our hunting heritage. Field staff like wildlife biologist Derek Wiley. Done getting much better than that. 
dog's on point, the tail's just straight up, and that's just, that's just beautiful. Watch what? Yeah! Good job. Number two, finally. We're geared towards improving habitat for grassland birds, the climbing grassland birds. Lots of people have very strong emotional ties to bob whites. So we're able to get really good conservation on the ground in pursuit of good bobwhite habitat. Being able to improve the habitat for them, keep that population thriving, that's, that's what we're here for. So we're gonna peel around and take the other side of the bowl now. I'll be in the middle of there and you guys will be flanking on the right and the left. You know, the work's never done. Great quail hunting, it's a part of our heritage. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. And it means a lot to residents not only in Texas, but across the, the South. Nice shooting, guys. Three birds, three down. Good boy. Hey, hey. <laughs> the hunt went fantastic. We had a lot of laughs, we had a lot of good shots. We had a lot of fun and we all got some birds. Spending the time in the field with people and watching bird dogs, we couldn't ask for anything better. This past time of getting out and hunting, spending time in the field with, with family and friends. Bottom line, that's what we're after. Thank you.